Hello everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake, and this is his show! And this is Ask Hugo number 23. So yes, today I'm here to answer more of your questions. Jake is also here for contractual reasons. Uh, and that's all the introduction you get today, so I guess here we go. Liz Gray asks Hugo, Hi, Hugo and Jake. I hope you die in a grease fire, Liz Gray. I work in fast food. Good, there's a high chance of it. Today I was portioning bacon at the sandwich station because the previous shift didn't do their side work and I was really under the gun. Okay, this this little aside here, this is such a restaurant thing. We used to work in restaurants. We know that feel. <laughs> when I got an order for an egg and cheese... I made the sandwich, and as I turned around, I saw it was for one group of guys who seemed to be speaking an Arabic language to each other. I briefly considered asking him if he, if he kept halal, and if so, would I need... You fucked that up. Would I need to remake his sandwich because it had come into contact with a pork product? But I was really busy, and I don't believe in hell, so I kept quiet. Was that wrong? <laughs> I like this question. And honestly, I'd never thought about it, but yeah, totally. I, I get what you're saying. Generally, how I value whether or not something is right or wrong, because I don't think there is an objective right or wrong mm -hmm. uh, in the situation, is if you were to tell the person after the fact and they found out, how would they feel about it? Now, you don't sure. know if this person was Muslim either way. They could have just been Which could have been Arabic. a little racist on your half. That was, what I, that was my point that I was going to make. Like, was it? Speaking Arabic, sure... But, like, uh, it's like asking, like, I don't know, a Jewy-looking person if they keep kosher. See, I don't think it's the same thing. I think if someone's speaking Arabic, maybe. that's a pretty maybe strong was, maybe factor was, in deciding. Maybe they miss. Maybe you misheard, and it was, like, a, an Indian... Re maybe, uh, but, okay, like, if, you're, if there's two groups of people, and one of them is speaking Arabic to each other, and one of them is speaking German, and you have to decide which well, one... German, you... sure. Okay, but that's what but, I'm saying. But, but I'm saying, like, like uh, uh, India is pretty close, so they have, they have similar... Uh, syllabic things happening okay. for the sake and of they this also, they sound like a, it's, it's a much quicker uh thing a much quicker language than ours is so for the you, sake of this question this, yeah. let's assume that these people were were muslim sure okay. i agree okay all right so assuming they were muslim usually yeah. how i determine if something is something you should be doing or not i would say uh if they found out how would they feel about it now uh i would also say i don't think realistically speaking you're harming them in any way if it no. touched it or whatever it's not that big of a deal as long as they don't know about it because in this instance them knowing about it is actually causing the harm you know what i mean the fact yeah. that it's they're not willfully doing something so i think even as far as their religion is concerned i don't think it would be that big of a deal now idealistically i would say yeah you probably should have just in case but realistically I don't think it's that big of a deal. I probably would have done the same thing. I don't oh, think it Oh, no. It we both, both Hugo and I have been making things that we probably should have asked about and gave it to them anyways. Yeah. It's happened. It happens in every restaurant, whether it's the shitty ones or the nicer ones. You just get busy, and I totally get it. Basically, I would say if they thought it was a big enough deal that they cared, they know that there's pork products at a place that serves breakfast food, they probably would have said something if it was that big of a deal to them. So no, I think it was probably fine. It's not that big of a deal. I think if you're thinking about it, you should try and be conscientious, but if it already happens and they don't know about it and no one else knows about it, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, no one cares. Where does Liz Gray work? I don't know. Maybe it's like yes. a weird truck stop stripper club. Waffle House. You're right. Okay. Hayden Spring asks Hugo, Hugo, have you and or Jake watched any series of Power Rangers past Mighty Morphin? It so, which is your favorite. Also, have you seen the Japanese version it is based from, Super Sentai? Good question. This is a good question. Uh, Jake, I know, watched at least Mighty Morphin or Zeo. I think he watched both because we discussed uh, Mighty it. Mighty Morphin, the one after that. Was that Dino Thunder? No, 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 no. What Dino was Thunder that? came much later. What was the one after that? I, goes... I watched... When I was a kid, Mighty Morphin came out, and then uh, they did some things, and then the movie came out, and then they switched right... Was it Ninja? They did Mighty Morphin, then the Mighty Morphin Rangers got their ninja suits, then they became the Zeo Rangers, then they became yeah. the Turbo Rangers, and No, 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 on. okay, okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, uh, I watched Zeo a little bit and then stopped because I wasn't seven. I watched shockingly not shockingly i guess almost embarrassingly <clears throat> you're I younger than me though so maybe people maybe people think that we should be in the same range when it comes to our mighty morphin years but no you you are significantly younger than me no i watched i watched mighty morphin i watched zeo yeah. i watched turbo i watched Ugh. in space and that's as far as i watched like 
uh, I sat down and watched them on Saturday mornings or whatever day they came out. Then I stopped watching for a while, and then when it came on in, like, reruns, I ended up watching everything through Dino Thunder. Jesus fucking Christ. Which was the return of Tommy. Uh, no! So that was a big deal. Uh, oh, <laughs> but, that's uh, disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, and I've tried to watch some of the newer Power Rangers. I don't really like it. And I'm not saying it's like any worse. It's just I've gotten older. So I'm to the, I was to the age where it's like, oh, Power Rangers is really shitty. Uh, and I can go back and watch Power Rangers that I watched as a kid for nostalgic value. But let's be honest, Power Rangers is fucking awful. It's really, really silly. Mighty Morphin is as close as they got to anything worth watching. And it's really garbage. See, it's I don't really even bad. think that's true. The thing is... Later on, it actually did get better. The writing got better, like, as far as a kid's show goes. Mighty Morphin is absolute garbage, well, no, but, but I it's think, fun. I think, I think Super Sentai ran out of things, because the monsters get really bad. I mean, they were bad in Mighty Morphin, but now it's like, it's like, this one's the confetti monster! I don't know! Yeah, they better do this That's for... a That's a Japanese producer's voice, by the way. I don't know! Do a, do a thing! Doesn't matter! As long as Power Rangers has been running, Super Sentai's been running even longer, so if you can imagine all the ideas that they're having to right. make up. Yeah. yeah, no, I've never watched Super Sentai, by the way. I, even as far as, like, Power Rangers and how cheesy and stupid it can be, I can't deal with the Super Sentai and how weird that gets, so I don't think I'll ever watch it. We saw the Super Te Sentai fight, right? The giant one on YouTube? Yeah, where it was, like, the whatever oh. anniversary and, like, tons of the Rangers from the past, like, all of them were in it, yeah. That was pretty rad. You know what wasn't rad, though? When the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were on there. Okay, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they only met the in space rangers. So, eh. What do you mean only? That's shit. That's a terrible... And that was the one with the girl, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, which, uh, however you want to slice it, that's just a stupid idea. And not because she was a girl, because she was a shitty character. Her name was Venus. I'm light blue. Shut the fuck up. Be pink. <laughs> yeah, that like was... You a... look too much like the other ones. Yeah, that was a bad show, too. That was a show in and of itself, by the way. The only reason they did that crossover was because there was a live-action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show at the time. Right. It um, was shitty. Yeah. Anyway, that was that a long enough answer to your question about a children's show from 20 fucking years ago? You're welcome. Washable red-ass Hugo. Hugo, you beautiful bastard. I agree. Would you ever consider turning the Atheist Bible Study into a podcast for iTunes, etc.? I love your content, but YouTube is a weird medium considering you have very little visual stimulation, instead primarily focusing on the audio. Fuck you! We stimulate you visually and sexually. I, we get this question all the time, and we've answered I it do. before, but I think it's good to mention it every once in a while. No, we're not going to put anything on podcast websites anytime in the future. However, there are, are alternatives if you want to get just the audio of our episodes there are websites you can go to where it's like youtube mp3 you can sure. rip you just put in like the uh the link to the episode and they'll just give you the audio of it uh alternatively youtube red is a thing now it's like their subscription service i don't expect people to get it because i'm not gonna get it but if you wanted to do youtube red you can also download stuff uh that way which is the official way i guess i wonder if your subscription runs out if you have access to those downloads Oh, I don't think you do. I think is it I, like a Spotify thing where you got to open like an app on your computer and then it's like for your. I have phone, no idea how it I works. think I think it's like you you save them offline to your YouTube app or something. Mm, I don't know. the The point no, is, uh, there are a multitude of ways you could do it. Uh, and honestly, this is just the easiest way for us. That sounds shitty, but it, it's if we also on top of doing this had to make sure everything worked just in audio and we had to put them all these uh, all this other websites no, podcast up. Plus, only like probably a couple hundred people would download them on those, so it'd be kind of a pain for not a whole lot. But if you want to, we totally, if you want to take our episodes and rip them and put them on your phone to listen to or in your car, that's totally cool with us. Uh, I would yeah, just Yeah, we say, still get the view for you stopping by to download it anyway. I know. Um, and so it's not like you're taking money from us, which, because this is our job, so that's the act would be doing that. Um, but yeah, it's cool if you want to download them. We'll probably eventually offer this in some format at some point i don't know how maybe digital download we eventually will probably host our own website and i assume we'll have some sort of download thing available there when someone else does it and we don't have to yeah it's, it's just it's a big pain in the ass it doesn't make any sense for us to do and as far as the visual stimulation is concerned sometimes there's visual jokes man like a lot of them supplement the joke so fuck you <laughs> yeah there are so th that's the thing too i've thought about doing just the audio yeah. stuff before too but there's some episodes in the past not many but there are enough times where we've done just a visual joke where we ripped it purely audio it wouldn't make any sense and people would be confused yeah so i don't want that every you know 20 episodes or so for someone to be like what the 
the fuck it's was that? Like every five, every five episodes on any of the one video types that we do. I say sometimes we have a joke that goes, "Look at that." You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So, so I, I don't know. It, it yeah, it just doesn't the way we do it. Like we and we are cognizant of the fact that we will be using images. Sometimes it, it just doesn't lend itself to only audio. But I get it if you want it. Go ahead and uh, download that. Nigel Thornberry as Hugo. Dear Hugo, are you hyped for Fallout Four or do you have an extra chromosome? Yes, I'm hyped for Fallout Four, and I also wow, have, is that a I've, Down syndrome it, joke? It is. It is. I don't know how many chromosomes I've had. I've never had them tested, but uh, I am very excited for Fallout Four. I've actually been checking out a lot of leaked videos. Looks fun. Uh, some of the animations are still very Bethesda-y, for sure. Uh, yeah. But it's definitely an improvement on Fallout 3 and even Skyrim, as you would expect. Pre-ordered it today, totes. Yeah, I'm not going to pre-order it. Got, got my, well, I did it on digital download, so I can play it at midnight. Yeah. Oh, also, if you want to check out... Uh, we do. We are very hyped for this. If you want to check out our review of like the trailers and stuff on our other channel, Unpopular Culture, there is a link right there! Holy shit! You see that? Yeah, it's been up already. Still click it. It's been up. Wow. It's been up. Did it work? Did the did the did the teaser work? Nope. Click every everyone left the video now. Thanks. We, we click on that and watch it. It's awesome. Cyberlord asks Hugo, dear Hugo, and that other piece of shit. That's so much better. That's so much better than adding me to that. That could be anybody. What do you think of Ty Lopez? Oh God. I personally think he is a brilliant scammer. He does inspirational videos. This gets people support, allowing him to get people's money so he can become rich. He also uses the poor, rich, sad story to gain support. What pisses me off even more is that he uses all the same tactics as people who sell those programs on how to get a big dick or get a gazillion bucks from the government. How do you know what those people use to tell you how to get a big dick? If you don't know who Ty Lopez is, if you've seen any of the YouTube ads where he's oh, like... Oh, how have they watched our videos and not run into a Ty Lopez ad? Yeah, he's the guy who's like, I'm just in my garage with my new fucking Lamborghini and my giant Shut bookshelves. Shut up, Ty Lopez. I, oh, I hope those books fall on him. If anyone has... if you, I assume most people have not made it past the five second skip ad button. What he's doing in those videos is he's saying, look how rich and successful I am. Order my book and you'll know how to be so rich and successful. It's a big scam. Uh, I Obviously. think he's a he's a douche. But honestly, if you can make money like scamming people dumber than you, it's not right. It's not right. But I understand why he's doing it, and he must be making money because he keeps putting money into his fucking ads. Like one out of every ten ads I see on YouTube now is him, and he keeps making That's new so ones. So much. So that means there's enough stupid people who are clicking on his videos and ordering his books or whatever that he's making oh, yeah. a profit. That's Tony crazy. Tony Robbins makes a living. I know. I know. It's crazy. Well, he's not a scammer though. At least like Tony Robbins seems to have like he has like business world connections where he like talks to CEOs and shit. And he's like. You know, I have a really big chin and I'm really fit, but I, and I'm 60 years old, but I look 40. It's cool. That's what Tony <laughs> Robbins says to people. He's been 40 forever. Yeah, he's a vampire. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the point is that I think he's probably a huge douche, but he is a douche who's making money. So I guess it just depends on how you feel about uh, what is the appropriate amount of douchiness allowed in a business. Uh, I don't think it should be, but it is allowed. So there it is. He's like the... Uh, PewDiePie of, of inspirational speakers. Sure. Not to call PewDiePie a scammer, just that I don't see that. I don't see it. I don't get it. Can't hate him for it. He's just, he's a Swedish guy and he just yells at stuff. He's like, PewDiePie, PewDiePie, Brofist, or whatever. And then he's like, he's, I just made a million bucks. He did. Yeah. He Good makes like me, $7 million dollars a year. I'll be PewDiePie right. for $7 million dollars a year. I'll be PewDiePie for one year for $7 million and then never again. I'll lick PewDiePie right in his butthole for $30. <laughs> well, all right. Lori Van Carr will not lick PewDiePie's butthole for $30. She's an escort, a professional one. She will take a thousand. A thousand dinero. Dear Hugo, what are your views on the prevalence of prank videos posted on YouTube and the false equivalents made between prank and outright fucking harassment that ultimately confounds and upsets innocent and blameless strangers. I recently viewed the YouTuber Fauci, never heard of him, or her, him, where he's acting as a farting gym instructor. I thought it was hilarious. Then I suddenly remembered I was no longer seven years of age and instantly hated myself and wanted to gouge out my brain and replace it with garden mulch. You wouldn't get very far, like, once you scoop out the frontal cortex, you no longer can put the garden mulch in your head. 
Because you'd just be a vegetable. I don't know about that specific video as far as pranks go, because that does just sound like a prank if he's just a gym instructor and he's farting. It's like a candid cam- camera type prank. And not it's not necessarily funny, but no, like it's not really no, destructive. No. How we do it. This is how we do it with Howie this is Mandel. how we do it with Howie Mandel. Yes. The prank videos on YouTube, though, lately, in the past, like, five years or so, something happened where people forgot that pranks are supposed to be funny and, like, you're supposed to put people in an awkward situation or a situation that they normally wouldn't. But you're not supposed to, like, commit felonies during pranks. (laughs) And some people seem to be trying to do that now. Like, stealing people's phones and then, like, when the person comes after them, they're like, it's just a prank. No, 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 no. Pranks are not hurting a person and then saying it was on camera. It's doing something funny. Stealing from people isn't funny. A prank should be something that once it's revealed to the person that it's being perpetrated on, they should then <laughs> laugh at what happened. Uh, if you're right. doing stupid shit and then people are, like, punching you in the face, good. I love the prank videos that go wrong where someone tries to, like, steal someone's phone or, like, <laughs> say know, something a- really racist or stupid and they get punched in the face. It's hilarious because that person is so stupid that they don't realize that there are consequences for their actions and it's beautiful. You know it was a good prank, uh, series was that one on sci-fi where it was like a scary thing and they'd like one one time they uh had a guy in this warehouse all alone and then aliens started coming out and he was freaking the fuck out and then there was one where uh like bigfoot was there chupacabra one where aliens abducted a whole car it was awesome scare tactics is what it was that's called. the one but not with the the one before they had that one woman on it from she was in like one horror movie ever can't remember her name but she was a terrible host. And then Tracy Morgan took over. Ooh, that must have been weird. Yeah, and it, it a very strange show. I like that show, though. That's, those are pranks that are fun, but also those sort of border on the almost too mean, because some of that shit was really scary if you were well, in the well, moment. Well, the thing about that was, though, it was their friends playing it on their friends. I know. I understand. Well, that's different, though. Like, if I have a rapport with you, you're going to be pissed off at me because you can't deal with any sort of stress in your life. However, <laughs> however we can laugh it off later. Sure. Over a bag of Cheetos or something. Yeah. Uh, we've never shared Cheetos in our lives. Why did I use that example? Anyways, um, but when it's random people, like, have you seen the ones where he, like, gropes people? Like, that's not funny. It just, it's, just, or when he kisses random people. That's assault. That's so invasive. Don't do that. You are a cunt. And I hope you get herpes. To quote Adam Sandler, that's assault, brother. Elephant Wig says, hey, Hugo, you say you do not believe in ghosts. You've also said that you don't understand why atheists believe in them. Have you considered that they are real and that they are just some form of life we don't understand? I know most ghost stories are bullshit and just people wanting attention, but please, please do your own in-depth research, and if you still don't accept these strange creatures, please contact me or an atheist paranormal expert. Psh! Elephant wig. Holy fuck. Okay, I'm so sick of talking about even. ghosts. We've been talking about even. ghosts, like, it feels like forever, and I keep mm. trying. Okay, I'll say this for the last fucking time. It won't be the last time, though. I guarantee someone's going to comment back to this, and I'm going to have to respond to it next time. Ghosts aren't fucking real, and the fact that you said atheist parent, what did he say? Atheist paranormal expert. Okay, you can't be an expert on the paranormal because the paranormal has not been found to exist. You can't be right. an expert on something that doesn't fucking exist. Much That's like less... being an expert on, on like the moves they use in Dragon Ball Z. Was it Key? Is it Key? I think it's Key. I don't know. Whoosh, Is it Kai? Whoosh, I spirit it was Kai. bomb at you. Kai? I don't know. I don't know. There's I don't King know. Kai. My, my point is that could ghosts be some form of life we don't understand sure in the same way that fucking leprechauns could be but that doesn't mean they're real just because you can entertain a series of thoughts in your head that follow a to b doesn't mean they exist you'd first have to show that they do exist and not only do they exist this is what they are ghosts are bullshit not because i can't imagine some elaborate form of reasoning why they could exist Ghosts don't exist because there's no evidence they exist, and every single time someone has had a ghost encounter or a ghost video or a ghost recording, there are always simpler natural explanations. Now, you can come at me all day with all the different things ghosts could be, 
They could be aliens trying to communicate with us. They could be psychic residue left over from traumatic deaths. They could be just your mom trying to fuck with you with this holographic recorder that she got from the future. I don't know. Just random bullshit you can make up. You can make it up all day. I like prank future ghost mom. I know. It's There's a whole backstory. <laughs> prank future ghost mom. It's a new YouTube channel I'm working on. Get just a mom from the future who pranks people and then says it's just a prank, bro. The point is, just because you can come up with an idea doesn't mean that's what it is. So no, I don't think that's what they are. And unless you actually provide evidence that ghosts exist, whatever ghosts may be, mm -hmm. it's bullshit. I think maybe we should talk about what the word evidence mean. Ugh. When we say it, the word evidence does not mean anecdotal evidence in which you're like, Yeah, I saw a ghost once. I have a friend, Dave, really great friend. But he's fucking stupid when it comes to ghosts. Just like my mom's stupid when it comes to ghosts. My my buddy Dave said he saw, like, shit open in a kitchen once. And there's no explainable way the doors would open in the kitchen on the drawers and stuff. Yes, there is, Dave. It's called shitty manufacturing of the doors. The other thing is, my mom's like, hey, I had a ghost. My brother's girlfriend died. Super sad story. Don't worry about that part. Worry about the part where my mom's an idiot. Uh, the dog, my dog Jack, who is also dead now. Maybe he's a ghost. Dog Jack barked at the door after she died because he wanted in the room. That's not a ghost, Mom. That's a stupid fucking dog. So here's the thing. What you need to do, instead of saying, one time I saw this crazy thing, you need to step back and think to yourself, self, is there any physical, recordable evidence that I could use in a case in, with like a jury with physical evidence? Uh, and, and you could, you could say, in, you could put exhibit A in a baggie. If you don't have that, don't press send. Do not press send on the comments. Just don't do it. We're going to get so Welcome. many stupid fucking ghost people in this episode. It's going to be depressing. Mm. Well, it's an Ask Hugo. I won't even look at the comments. Last question for Ask Hugo number 23. Joey Richardson asks, Have you ever eaten an entire package of Oreos? I assume he means like the, the regular size ones, not like a single, like a sleeve. Yeah. Uh, I in one sitting? Like, I've eaten a whole package, but over the course of time. I think I ate a whole, at least once I must have bought a pack of Oreos and eaten the whole thing, or at least half. Knowing you, that's not, I expect it. That should, I don't know how I'm alive. I don't know, for people who haven't seen me in videos or anything, I recently lost 40 pounds. I need to lose about 10 more. Uh, I used to be really fat. So yes, I've eaten lots of Oreos in my lifetime. You still eat garbage, it's just such a low amount, it doesn't hurt you. I know, I just eat less of it. I'll tell if anyone out there is overweight and wants to lose weight, just just get a a calorie tracker, figure yeah. out what your TDE mm -hmm. is, which is like how many calories you should be eating in a day to live, uh, and eat less than that, and you will lose weight, because physics. Yeah, that, that that works too, also being very young helps. Well your metabolism, your metabolism might be higher, metabolism but metabolism is very good. Well yeah, you are very young. Um, because you don't work out, and and that shouldn't work for you, right? When you're an actual adult. Now, if you were to look, up, if you were to look, grow at, up, it won't work. But right now, kids, totally will work. No, it'll work if you're fucking ninety. It doesn't matter. It'll be harder because your cal well, caloric you intake needs to be lower. Be no, I no. It's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal yeah. with cholesterol and stuff when I get older. But I'm just yeah. saying, as far as strictly how you look and your like, how much? Yeah, if you're only worried about aesthetics. If you, if it's 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 a car wash, I didn't, no, because fat inter because there's uh there's subcutaneous fat and then there's fat that's like well, yeah. in your body. The fat that's in your body, it's actually really bad for your organs too, because it like crowds yeah. them out and it makes them harder for it to work. So seriously, people, well, I'm just say, I, I'm well, base no, do what Hugo says, but don't only do that if you're like if you're over the age of like over the college age. How about that? Because at a certain point, you actually have to like have nutrition. And 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 he's not a dietitian. Neither am I, for the for the record. But you gotta do more. You gotta do more than that if you want well, to. Well, that's you alive. can keep track of your macronutrients and stuff too. Yeah, that's really good. the The fitness thing you have is a my good fitness thing. pal. Awesome app for that stuff. Yeah. So Very do good. that. Uh, this was about Oreos. Yeah, I I love Oreos. Oreos are good. I haven't had Oreos in about six you months. You had the though. thin ones. No, the thin Oreos are good because I don't. I'm not a big sweets person. So, mm -hmm. like, I love Oreos. I love golden Oreos and regular Oreos. Do not bring double stuff bullshit into my life. Oh, and none of those, like, seasonal flavors. They're garbage. However, the thin... I had thin golden Oreos. You can eat, like, two of those if you're not into sweets very much, but you still like this sort of treat. 
I don't. They're like they're they're not nearly as many calories, which is very good. Um, but also it doesn't. I don't know. It's just not as heavy. Oreos are really heavy for me. I think Oreos are awesome. So, but they're know. delicious. But they're delicious. I recommend the thin ones to everyone. Okay, so I guess that's it. Oreos are delicious. <laughs> Oreos are the best cookie. Are Oreos the best cookie? That's the real question we need to discuss down in the comments. Not about ghosts. What is the best cookie? If you say Chips Ahoy, unsubscribe. Because Chips Ahoy is not good. Chips Ahoy are barely cookies. Chips Ahoy just look like cookies. They're cookie... They're, they're cookie the Velveeta candy. cheese of cookies. Okay, let's be honest. Velveeta cheese is pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to us. Anyway, no, it's not. So thanks, everyone. Tell us what you think about Oreos, Velveeta cheese, pranks, moms from the future... Uh, and whatever else we talked about in the comments, if you, if you think ghosts exist, you're just wrong, though. I'm gonna put that out there. If you tell me ghosts exist in the comments, I'm gonna fucking tell you you're dumb. And also, no ghost question will be used on the next episode of Ask Hugo, so if you ask a ghost question, you won't be on. So thanks, everyone. You can always check us out on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can always subscribe to the channel and get more times that Hugo has asked questions about ghosts. You can always help us out by donating to our Patreon campaign. There is a once a month patron only hangout, which if you're watching this on the day that this comes out, that will be tonight, okay? At 7 Eastern time. So check that out if you are a patron. We should have you also will... emailed you or whatever. So. Yeah, it'll be in your Patreon uh, messages and or your personal email, whichever one you signed up with Patreon on. So I think that's it. Until next time, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake, but it doesn't matter because this was Hugo's show. Ask Hugo23. Ghosts are bullshit.